It's finished. Altrincham nil, Boreham Wood 2 this afternoon at the J. Davidson Stadium in front of uh, just under 2,000 uh, fans. Phil Parkinson, the Altrincham manager, joins us. Phil, there's not been too many times this season uh, when uh, I've said this, but we didn't deserve anything out of that game. No, I think you're absolutely right. I'm not one to paper over the cracks. We know we're in a transitional moment with people coming and going. It's a very difficult time to get continuity of what, what we're looking to achieve as well. So... I knew this was going to happen. Um, people can say, well, why have you not done anything about it? Because players have been here and they deserve opportunities to, to show what they can do. So we've losing what we're losing, the speculation about other players. Guess what? It's disruptive. It's not great. But the bit I will sort of defend the players on is we went to the end. We created some half chances. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't dynamite. But Boreham Wood are a really tough team to play against. They make it very difficult for you and they will beat better teams than us playing that way. So it, it's always going to be a tough, tough ask for us against the Boreham Wood, a Chesterfield, a Wrexham. Look, over the next month, we've got all the top 10 teams. It's going to be really difficult for us. So what I will say is what we will do is what we did at the start of the season. We'll work extremely hard because that never stops. We'll look to, to recruit where we can because we have got to rebuild that front line a little bit. We've got to add to it and everyone knows that. So it's not like I'm saying anything out of turn. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen overnight. So we are where we are. People have got to persevere with us. They were happy when we were winning. Everyone gets behind you then. They were disappointed when we were losing, but I think they could see the performances. Hey, the lads give everything there. As long as they keep doing that and we're able to rebuild again, we'll go again. But it's, it, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie to you. It'll probably be tougher before it gets better. The first goal in a game against Boreham Wood is always going to be important. So they don't score very many and they're very, very strong defensively. Um, the disappointment about the way we conceded the first goal was, first of all, we, we've given away an unnecessary throw-in, then a poor clearance to give away a corner, and then we've just not defended the corner. There's a, a, a lot of people culpable for that. Absolutely, but you look at the lad who scored it and he nearly scored straight after, didn't he? Will Evans has done that against league opposition. You look at the physicality of their players and, and uh, how strong they are. That's what they're really good at. We're really good at playing through the thirds. Our brand of football, everybody knows, is something we, we work really hard to do. And you've got two contrasting styles there. And unfortunately, there's, there's outdid us on the day. Um, and they're a very good team. So I don't want to disrespect Boreham Wood by making out like we should be beating Boreham Wood. For us to beat Boreham Wood or Chesterfield or Rex and those types of teams, we, as I said to you at Chester, we've got, we've got to be absolutely outstanding. We've got a thin squad and it'll be difficult in these games and people will make mistakes um, and when you make mistakes you get punished and I'll just make the point about Will again, obviously Will Evans for them. You look at the calibre of player they've got in terms of the experience he's got at the level where he's played before that, that comes down to finances as well. So we're doing everything we can to, to sort of shorten them gaps but we're going to have to take the rough with the smooth and at the moment it's going to be a bit of a rough period again. The second goal early in the second half was was a real killer, but one thing you must have been delighted with was the response for half an hour. We really gave it uh, everything, and the the ball didn't really break for us today, this afternoon. It doesn't against Boreham Wood, that's what they do. They, they close the gaps, they, they disrupt the game. I, I, Luke I know really well, I've got nothing but respect for what he does. As soon as he could smell us getting any kind of foothold in the game, it was put it in the corners, turn them round, uh, narrow the pitch off. All the things that a good defensive team like that they will do, they, they'll keep it really simple, they won't make mistakes and they'll rely on their big players to get them the results. We, we want to play 3 four in football, it's not always going to work that way. And in the second half we did have periods, I was surprised actually at how much we did create and not open chances in terms of ones that we, we, I'm saying to the players they've got to be scoring but we had a lot of half chances, Lewis Baines at the back post. Um, Marcus Denanga uh, with a high volley which unfortunately he couldn't connect with and then obviously Chris Conn's unbelievable effort where it, how many times have we seen that sail in and, and that's again look at Ashmore he's one of the best keepers in the division and, and you're coming up against that now this is what I'm trying to make sure everybody understands we're coming up against the best in the division and we will continue to do that deep into February. The, the shot by Chris Conn Clark was a wonderful piece of uh, skill but Nation Ashmore's uh, footwork and save was, was brilliant. Outstanding, that's what I've just said to you, isn't it? So, yep, I agree with what you've said. And in terms of um, where we go from here, we're, we're clearly thin on the ground in terms, of, uh, in terms of bodies at the moment. And obviously, we've got irons in the fire, we've got targets that we're trying to bring into the club. 
how how close are we to to, to strengthening this? Yeah, there's a number of number of targets, but again, um, the, the people will wait till the end of the window to see what their options are. People want football league; they don't want to just drop into the national league. Um, so you have to be patient with certain targets. We'll lose certain targets through that as well, and we'll lose to financial reasons in terms of recruiting certain players. So everyone will think now Ryan Colclough's gone. We've got millions of pounds in the bank. We haven't. It was a it was a fee that was an okay fee it wasn't anything extraordinary so listen we, we haven't got millions and millions of pounds to or thousands and thousands of pounds to go and buy whoever we want we'll have to be frugal with what we do but the thing is i think if people can see what we've been producing and can see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel with egly second half performance michael gassi first game for us miles doing really well um, we will get it right and we've got to bed these players in and we've got to go again and the group's great, they understand the work that's got to go into that and we will, we'll get it right, that's what we do here, we get things right and we work really hard, we'll be consistent with what we do and we'll, we'll turn the corner but I just need people to, to stick with us because it will be a sticky period for us. Egli uh, Kaya did very, very well this afternoon and he, and he, he stuck at it. Uh, it didn't look like he was running running out of gas. I think he probably eventually did, but uh, he's given Ilis Amni a really difficult afternoon. Well, yeah, I was surprised he stayed on the pitch, Ilis um, because Egli looked like he had his number. And again, another day, um, Egli scores or creates as a goal from all that good wing play that he produced. And I felt he needed to show that in the second half because I thought as much as I'm bigging him up first half, I didn't think he hit the heights that I'd expect him to. But again, you've got to dig it out with them and you, you've got to do the hard yards to then get their moments to go and play. And unfortunately today when we were digging deep and we were we were slogging it out with them, we couldn't keep that clean sheet, could we, as you alluded to, with the set pieces, the number of mistakes that led to that. Um, we were very aware of the strengths and weaknesses, but their strengths are... are are probably the bit that we need to do better with in terms of be stronger from set pieces and we we do we do identify that and we we understand that we've got to do better with that but individually man for man we've got to step up and be counted when these kind of gains are coming along and that's that's the difference unfortunately today Michael Giassi is not, I know he's a player that you uh, admire very much explosive uh, player and uh, for, for a debut, he's done, he's done well today and there'll be plenty more to come from him. Absolutely, him and Egley, there's going to be far more to come from them and there'll be there'll be support as well, so we can't just rely on them to... We've got to bring bodies in and we've got to get them right people to come through the door. But as I said, that's one thing we, we, we do, we get things right, don't we? So it'll be tough. Um, we, we knew this uh, sort of period was going to come, whether we were strong or not. So even if we had a Ryan Coakluff and Elliot Newby, Chris Conn was staying... Toby Malarkey stays, all those types of things. If we even if we had them, these games are always a struggle for us anyway. So everyone's been delighted with the good run we've been on. They've been fully behind us. Be behind us now while we really need you. And in terms of uh, recruitment, the transfer window closes in a few days' time, so things might be a bit clearer then. Um, is it is it difficult for you in terms of who you need to go for? Because is there a temptation to to go into the loan market again just to get us through this period? I think we'll have to do that no matter what. Anyway, um, it's not easy to get them permanent ones because they cost money, and again. Um, there's, there's the wages side of things. I mean, you look at some of the lads we've got out on loan as well. Zach Goodson, I'm fully expecting to come back in the building. He's gone out for a month to get himself up. I know it said a season long loan, but if he gets anywhere near, we've got high hopes for Zach. So we have got people in the building we believe in, and they've not been given much of a chance because we've been on a great run. But now they need to step up, take them chances. And if they can't, then Definitely we've got targets and definitely we'll look to bring people in, but there's people in this building waited patiently, they'll get the chances now and they've got to take them, but unfortunately we're playing the best team, so it's even more difficult for them to show up and that's why we've got to be a little bit more patient. What sort of uh, strength side are you looking to put out in the Cheshire Senior Cup Course final at Vauxhall Motors on Tuesday? Very good question. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure yet because of how thin we are, so we'll really have to look at that. I did want to go as strong as possible, but... I'm not going to risk um, league position and league games um, because of that. So we've got a really good reserve team um, and we have got lads who need games. So I think you'll see a real mix in that game. And also we've got the uh, FA Trophy in a fortnight's uh, time and Michael Giassi is, is cup tied. He can't play. So that also affects your the, the view or your perspective on who to bring in. Absolutely. So we want to go deep into that competition. We want to have a good league finish to the season because we've done great so far. We don't want to drop off now. But I'll keep saying it. I'm sure people will go, he's making loads of excuses in this interview and this, that and the other. But I'm not uh, delusional and 
I'm a realist. I've always been real with everything. Every time I've I've had an interview with you, if we played really well, I'll, I'll make people make people very aware of why we've done well or, or what we've got coming up. We've got all the top ten teams going into February. We had Chesterfield, Boreham Wood, Wrexham before the cup games. It's going to be tough. It'll be hard for us. We'll work exceptionally hard. And I've always said when Altrincham are together and working hard, pulling together, the fans, the staff people behind the scenes, you, all positive messages. I know it can't be positive if it's a poor performance, but when those lads are poor out there, I'll flog them in the changing rooms and it's been very few and far between when I've ever had to do that. Don't do it if we're not winning games against teams that whether we like it or not, sometimes we have no right to. We've got to earn the right, we've got to change perceptions and we've got to work really hard if we want to be classed as a big team in this division. That requires investment, work rate from everybody, positivity, people coming through the gates players on the pitch, me getting recruitment right, everything's got to be right for us to get higher up the division and where we want to be. So we'll do it, we'll all work hard, but stick together, that'll be the key to getting through. We finished the game with uh, Josh Lundstrom having the captain's armband. Uh, he's a really young captain, but you, you, you can see why, why he's the man. You just hit the nail on the head, aren't you? We're a young squad, so... Um, He's, he's been phenomenal for us this season, drives us forward, there's more to come from Josh, there's more to come from the whole group and that's why you have to be patient with young players and when we were patient at the start of the season, we've had that mid-season run where we've done well, it'll happen again, we've just got to be patient. So that's the thoughts of uh, Altrincham manager Phil Parkinson after uh, this afternoon's 2-0 reverse against uh, Boreham Wood. It's uh, Vauxhall Motors in the Cheshire Cup on Tuesday and then a big game in front of the BT Sport cameras against Wrexham in the National League next uh, Saturday, kick-off 5.20pm.